my name is Frances Hugh Pritchard. I'm a New Zealand artist. I live in London. I was born in New Plymouth and grew up in Christchurch. Went to art school in Christchurch and then in 98 moved to England where I started working pretty much solely as an artist since 2003. Today I'm installing my show and it's covering the last almost 20 years of my work. And the first work is from art school actually. So it's quite a change from my first work to my more recent pieces, which are in this room. Maybe you can see some behind me. The works were chosen kind of to do with favorite works, for example, Travis Collection, but then also logistics, because we're in New Zealand now, and a lot of my work is in Britain and America and other parts of Europe and Australia. There are a few key pieces we didn't even know if we could do the show until we secured some loans which were yeah, Traveller's Collection, and, which is in Britain, and Jealous Saboteurs, which is a piece of um, hockey sticks that look like crocodiles, which was in Auckland at Auckland City Gallery. There's certainly humour in my work, but some of it's quite depressing humour or deadpan humour. Perhaps the British sensibility of humour has helped me. I've lived there since, uh, I moved there in 1998. As soon as I finished art school, I went there. But usually there's a deep, deeper sort of often more um, black message. My prints are pretty important to my work because when you make sculpture, one of the most important things is height and how you approach the work. So for me, it's really important that the work is at a level which is best for the work to be seen. And also I don't like white boxes, white plinths. So I've worked a lot on plinths over the years. And this exhibition shows a lot of different ways of display. And yeah, it's, it's really key to my work. There's a lot of portraiture in this show. Um, some of the earlier ones are severed heads and the later ones are um, figures like this. And in between are mummies and monkeys, if you can maybe call those portraits between a New Zealand audience and maybe an audience in Britain is um, I think the understanding of something like my severed head will be quite different because you don't get a lot of those in Britain. 